we embark on the road less travelled, sometimes the most unexpected treasures can reveal themselves. Here, on Valencia Island in Kerry, amidst less than ideal conditions, lies a hidden gem waiting to be discovered. As I meandered along the coastline, my eyes caught a glimpse of something stunning below me, a secluded cove that seemed to jump from its surroundings and transport me to a faraway land. Now this encounter serves as another reminder of the beauty that lies off the beaten path. In a world where maps dictate our journeys, there's something liberating about just letting our curiosity be our guide. It's in these moments of exploration that we unearth the true essence of a place, the untold stories, the unseen views and the hidden wonders. So I encourage you to also embrace the unknown. Take that detour, wander down that winding road, for it's in these surprise discoveries that the soul of adventure thrives. And who knows, you may just stumble upon your own slice of paradise, a place that speaks to your heart and whispers tales of the unknown. Have a look at today's location, for example. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog and today you join me, I'm in a location I have never been to before and I've come to Valencia Island, I'm still on Valencia Island by the way, um, and I've driven along this road and I've seen all of these trees below me and wondered what was it about, so today I said okay I'm going to have a look, now I'm here, the conditions, they're not good but they're actually really good <laughs> um, because it's a very very flat calm light day and I think I'm going to be able to get some really beautiful moody images um, from this stunning beach that's below me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my way down onto the beach. I can't get down this way here because there's pretty strong seawall uh, protecting the buildings that are behind me here but what a beautiful find. These trees over here are absolutely stunning. I'd love to see this in the autumn colours. I mean I'm in January now and it's midwinter so I'd love to see this um, in the autumn colours so I definitely think it's somewhere that I'm going to come back to but for today anyway let's go let's see how we get on and see what shots we can get. Now immediately upon arriving here I decided to take out my long lens because when I was up on the top of Giacon Mountain um, this morning or after in the early morning I was looking down on these islands and there's the uh, structure I was taking a photograph of here which I can hopefully if I move this way it might follow so right above my head there is a structure which I was taking photographs of and then over here as well there's a couple of uh, old houses that are right on the edge and with my long lens I'm able to go in and pick those out and I've decided to even in my own mind's eye set up on a square crop and I love the fact that it's so misty and there's nothing else in the distance and I can just focus on that and it's actually the mist is right at the house as well so it's kind of making it soft um, and kind of ethereal look. Um, also as I just arrived then over here there's a fishing boat that's just outside in the bay here and it seems to be crisscrossing um, obviously picking up nets I think and I got a shot of that but also now I can see Valencia um, Lighthouse as well from a totally different point of view and the waves are crashing as well on the other side of which is where I was uh, for sunrise this morning or a couple of weeks ago from my episodes point of view but here is absolutely stunning I'm going to pick out a couple of shots here with the long lens and then I'm going to bring in my wide angle lens and I'm really looking forward now to doing some long exposures here along this side with these rocks and over here as well with these trees and then just nothingness in the distance. This is going to be really really nice despite me not having really really nice light 
I still think I'm going to get some nice shots. Here's the long lens ones that I've taken now, and then I'm going to walk around probably over this side first of all, get a shot here, and then I'll go over that side as well after that. But for now anyway, here's these early shots, and then I'll talk to you in a moment. come over for my first shot and I really like this area. There's some fantastic textures between light sand and dark sand all running along here and then within these boulders and now with the water as well that's coming in what that's doing is covering it and then giving me the flow as the water goes out. Now I've taken a couple of different shots actually one where there was no water and then another where there is water like right now and then I'm just waiting to see what the type of shot is going to turn out. Some of them I can see the detail of the, uh, the sand underneath and other ones I can just have the moving water as it meanders back out. But the textures here are phenomenal. Now into the distance as well there's not much really for me to look at. I'm composing the shot with a kind of a frame going off out to the right hand side here and then the left hand side is just that bit of an island as well also. But I really really like this for my first shot. I am on um, my six stop is on, my polarizer is on, and I'm at six seconds, I'm at F11, and ISO is 100. Simple, simple shot. I'm gonna go closer into this here now as well. Uh, I know I'm gonna get wet here today, that's okay, um, because I think it's going to be worth it. But yeah, here's these shots anyway from here. The atmosphere in, in the sky right now is just flat still, and it's wonderful. So yeah, I'll give you a look at the shots now, talk to you again in a moment. I've moved slightly further along here now just to kind of get more into the mix and that's given me more of an opportunity to have water within the frame and like I normally do in a seascape point of view I'm waiting for the water to come in and then I'm going to wait for the water to go back out again. It is a stunning area I think with the ethereal mist that's just lying there it's really adding to the image and that's quite bright been lit by the natural softbox of the mist or the fog but look when I get a wave just like this that comes in here it then just fills the entire frame and then I just wait to take that shot. I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put on my uh, 10 stop and I'm going to go for a 30 second exposure because I think that's going to be really really nice then with all of this water kind of milky um, texture but with the rocks then remaining static and then with the light that's hitting this coloured uh, island here as well that will be on the top of the horizon. So yeah, I'll give you a look at this shot, I'll throw on the 10 stop, I'll give you a look at that as well and then I'm going to head to the other side of the beach because I'm excited to see what I can get from over there.
Now I know I said I was going to this side of the beach, but I kind of got distracted. There's this single solitary rock here right in front of me. And I'm looking for kind of a real minimalist shot. But what I've done is I framed it that this is in the center of the frame. And then I've got the island here plus the lighthouse as well. That's kind of eerily sitting in the distance and fading off into the mist. I think it's a lovely shot. Again, still with my big stopper on, I'm going for 30 seconds here in relation to this, and I'm at uh, f14. Um, so I might actually bring that now and see if I can kind of make it purposefully bright by going to maybe f11 and stuff like that. But yeah, I have to be careful here because I'm pushed you back because I don't want to get caught in the waves. But also with the water that's coming in, it's covering that one single solitary rock. So I have to time it to be able to start my shot when the rock is visible. So at least that is going to be registered in the sensor and then the waves will come in and cover it and that gives it the ethereal look. But yeah, what a stunning, stunning, stunning beach. I think this is going to be a really nice shot here. I'll give you a look at it now and then I'm, yes, I'm definitely heading to the other side of the beach. I know I keep saying I'm going to this side of the beach, but I keep getting distracted along the way. And now I'm distracted by a couple of things. So below me here, there's some really, really nice textures in the uh, sand. And then the sand is quite dark, but there's sporadic areas of brighter sand. And there's one that's just right here next to an outflow of water that's coming down into the sea. And then similarly to earlier on with the rock, uh, I've got um, the ethereal in the long distance let's just say um, the lighthouse on the top left hand corner and then just these trees are now starting to come into the frame as well on this side which is where I'm heading to it's actually really nice on the back of the camera I hope it turns out as nice as what it looks like here in the back of the camera uh, settings at the moment here are at f9 30 seconds ISO is at 100 I have my 10 stop and I have my polarizer on as well because I want to be able to bring out this color here within the sand. But yeah, my goodness, this is just insane how nice just a small area here can be. Now, the water here as well is almost flat calm and it's wild out here. So this is a sheltered bay. Imagine what this would be like on a rough sea day. I mean, judging by the wall that's behind, I think it can get quite rough. But yeah, I'll give you a look at this one now next. And we're definitely heading over to this side of the beach after that. I've never been to uh, Vancouver Island. I've seen a number of times watching Adam and watching Gavin, Bry and such like that. But for me here, I think this reminds me of what Vancouver Island could actually be like with those trees that are over there on the left-hand side. Now, I've come over to this side here and I think there's gonna be some nice shots. The first one I stumbled on is this dividing wall, which I think used to be the old wall that people would have walked down onto the beach because there's steps in it. All that is that it's been moved, I don't know how, but it seems as if anyway, there's something here in relation to it. But that's acting as a kind of a divider on the bottom. I'm not sure if it's nice or not, but into the mist in the background here with again, the lighthouse and again, the edge of the headland, I think it's working out quite nice. Now, I have some stones as well that are below me here. I put those in a shot. I don't know if they've worked or not. Um, I'll see obviously when I get to edit. So I've taken another one now where I've gone in uh, 35 mil because I was at around 18 mil to get those stones. But yeah, two different shots anyway here in relation to it. 
conditions are remaining exactly the same. I'm going to head over this way here now because I'm excited to see what that looks like. Finally made it all the way over to the other side of the beach. It's taken me a long time to get here, but I'm glad now that I'm here because looking along here, I've got this beautiful coastline, these tree lines that's there as well. I can just make out the lighthouse that's at the very end of the headland. And then on the right hand side, I've got this mist, which you can just barely see the uh, far distant headland as well coming through it. Uh, I'm still going for my 30 second exposures here. I'm at F7.1, just want to make it slightly bright and uh, don't obviously blow the highlights, but I want to make it slightly bright. So it's probably uh, just over perfectly exposed. Um, with the water coming in as well here, I don't really like that I'm getting a, an area on the left hand side that doesn't have any water. So what I might end up doing is going back down this way and stand on this wall and use this wall then to be able to put my tripod here so I can get nothing but the water because I don't really like the fact that this is a uh, small bit seen I suppose really so yeah I'll give you a look at this one now and then I'm going to go back down this way here stand on the the wall which is just down here um, if you can follow me uh, yeah follow it down here and then that will be part of that shot so yeah there's this let's check back in in a moment Welcome to the wall. <laughs> um, so I just sent the drone up there a moment ago. Uh, you might have seen that image, uh, that footage, but now I'm onto the wall here because the waves are actually coming in. They're coming in quite feroc ferocity, ferociously. Um, and every so often I get a wave that breaks and I've got one actually that got me here and I'm quite wet in relation to my leg, but I'm not wet as well because I've got waterproof trousers uh, on. So they're very, very good actually. I got them from a company called Regatta. Um, but either which way, what I'm here now at the moment is I've decided to go in at 35 mil. I'm still doing my long exposure, but now I have some light as well. So if I move this way here, this should follow me. And you'll see that I have the light now as well coming out, out, out here and the mist as well is starting to dissipate. So that's now creating a bit more texture as well in the far distance. So that's why I've gone into the 35 mil. And with this shot here, taking it again at 30 seconds, I'm at F8, ISO is 100. And that smooths all of this water out here. 
And what I like about here then is that there's no dark area that doesn't have any water within that. And when these big waves as well come in, then it completely covers this whole area. Even that I was on earlier on, has now been covered. So yeah, what an absolutely stunning beach for me to find. I'm delighted that I came down here. You can see now with these waves. Delighted that I came down here. Uh, it's something that I definitely will return to because I think it'll be quite interesting when this whole area here is in autumn color. So thank you very much as always for joining. If it's your first time on the channel, please do hit the subscribe button. Give me a like, give me a comment. If you want to watch another episode, I recommend this video here. And until the next time, Schlange voll.